How to get 180 waves in one day. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Kadas here and I'm back again with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get 180 waves just in a day. But before we hop into today's video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and also turn that bell so you guys can get notified when I upload. Now first, 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 it is very simple to get 180 waves. It's like very simple and very easy. First of all, you need a fade, obviously. You can get a high fade, but it will most likely be a high fade or, or, or a all around fade. Now as for me, I used to have an all around fade, you know, just, you know, cut off all of my hair on the sides and back and the other sides and just left the top. But now since we're in this quarantine, my hair has fully grown back. And I also shaved it down a little bit so it can match up to my sides, so yeah. Cause you know, basically all the barbershops are closed. But anyway, after you got your all around fade or you know, a high fade, you want to, you obviously need to get yourself a brush and a do-rag and also some products. Now I advise you, if you want to get it really fast and quick, I advise you to get like curling products like protein gel or eco style gel, you know, simple curling products or, you know, can too or whatever, or maybe even 360 style, who knows? But uh, yeah, now all you gotta do next is, you know, brush your hair downwards. That's all you gotta do. If you have an all around fade, you might have a little corner, so you might wanna, you know, get your corners too. Brush your corners down at an angle with your brush, like, you know, just brush it down at an angle, brush your top down, brush your top down, and brush your corners at an angle. Now, you don't really have to worry about the back too much because you hardly have any hair at, you know, basically at the back of your head. And you can't really brush it in a, direct, in a direction except for, you know, either forward or like to the sides. But it's most likely going to be forward. Now, after you brush it down, you lay, you know, your hair is basically laid down by the brush. You want to go ahead and apply that curling gel to your hair or, you know, curling product or whatever. And then after that, you want to put your do rag, your do rag on, stocking cap or like whatever you have. It could be a dome cap or, you know, whatever. Put it on your head, you know, keep it on there for about. Well, if you're doing this in the morning, you can keep it on there for about an hour because, you know, the gel will be dried up. You can keep it on for however long you want to. But as for me, I would have usually had to keep on my do-rag or my uh, stocking cap for about an hour because the gel dries up and I just see waves. Like, you can see my waves right now. Those are how my waves are looking. And I usually can get the waves, like, on top of my head in, like, one day. It's very easy. It's not hard at all. Then after that, you just got to repeat that step for a couple of days until it's your wash day. Now my wash days are usually on Fridays. I usually, you know, just wash out my hair, you know, just get an old brush or, and you know, get some, you know, hair conditioner and, you know, shampoo and, you know, wash your hair out and then repeat the same steps, you know, after your wash day. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, If you want to keep your hair moisturized too, you can, you know, use grease or, oil but that's basically it for this video i know this video is kind of short but it is what it is and uh yeah but anyway give my video a thumbs up be sure to like comment subscribe and tell me what you guys think and with that being said i am out see ya